Hello everyone, welcome to the round 27 NRL preview from uh, this person. The number one Broncos are going to take on the fourth place Storm. And I think it's going to be an interesting match, alright? So let's just have a look at the lineup for the Broncos v Storm. So if you look at the if you look at the lineups here, it's definitely a very interesting uh decide like sides from both teams. So that fullback we got uh Pappy at fullback because he's back. That's good for him. And we got Tristan Sailor for Broncos fullback. So no Reese Walsh this week. So that's gonna be difficult. But as we all know, Tristan Sailor is still a pretty decently good fullback. And the number two spots will be on the left wing, we'll have the big horse, Mr. Oates. And on the other wing for the other team, we'll have Will Warbrick. For the Broncos centers, we'll have Jesse Arthurs. And the Storms, we'll have Justin Olam. Number four center for Broncos. I'm sorry, mate, but I don't exactly know how to say uh, your name, but I'm, I'm just sorry, okay? And number four for the Melbourne Storm is Young. Tonham appeal. I always have a hard time saying his name, but yeah, that's who is in the number four spot for Melbourne Storm. We got Jordan Pereira in the fifth place, uh, which he is a good uh, player, so I, th I will hope to see him be playing well. Number five for Melbourne Storm is Remus Smith. We all know him. He's a good player, so we'll see how that goes number six for brisbane broncos at 5 8 we'll have josh rogers i haven't seen him play at 5 8 before so that's gonna be a bit interesting 5 8 for melbourne storm is Jaden nikarima cody's brother as we all know number seven halfback for brisbane broncos jock madden who he is a good full half fullback halfback and halfback for melbourne storm no jerome hughes have Tyra Tyran and Wishheart. So those are the backs. Forwards at uh, number eight, we will have Tommy Flegler for the Brisbane Broncos. Number eight for the um, Melbourne Storm, we'll have T Tariq Sims, I'm pretty sure. For the hooker for Brisbane Broncos is going to be Tyson Smoothie. And the hooker for Melbourne Storm will be. Bronson Garland. Number 10 for the Brisbane Broncos is going to be Corey Jensen, which I don't know if he is. No, Payne Haas is usually the number 10. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. And number 10 for Melbourne Storm is Taipei Maria, I think. Ah. So, so there's some names I don't know how to say. All right? I'm sorry. And number 11 in the second row. We'll have Brendan Piacura for the Brisbane Broncos. Broncos. And number 11 for Melbourne Storm is going to be Chris Lewis. Number 12 in the second row for Brisbane Broncos is Jordan Ricky. And the second rower, number 12 for for um, Melbourne Storm, sorry, I forgot, is Ali uh, Katoa. Katoa. Alright, Katoa. Our locks for this match. There's gonna be no Paddy Carrigan for the Brisbane Broncos. So we'll have Keenan Policia uh, taking over the spot. Over the storm, we'll have Josh King taking over that place. So that's nice. In the interchanges, at number fourteen for Brisbane Broncos, we'll have Blake Moser. Number fourteen for Melbourne Storm, we'll have. That person, I don't know how to say his name, sorry, I, I, I'm not always sure how to say names. In the interchange, we will have Corey Pace at number 15, which I think is usually what Corey Jensen is, that's what I was um, missing out on. And for Melbourne Storm, we'll have Alec McDonald. Number 16, we'll have Xavier Wilson in number 16 for Brisbane Broncos. And number 16 for Melbourne Storm is Aaron Payne, I think. Yeah. Payne, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Number 17, Marty is back. It's been like a month because of his flying legs. Like, what was that for? Like, why did he do that? Bro? And for and number 17 for the Melbourne Storm is Jack Howarth. And number 18 for the replacement 
<laughs> for Brisbane Broncos, um, Benjamin Takura. I, I don't know anything. Is Benjamin Takura. Replacement number 18 for Melbourne Storm is Grant Anderson. Reserves of Brisbane Broncos is Israel Leoto. Number 19 for Melbourne Storm is Joe Chan. Number 20 for Brisbane Broncos is Kirk Capewell. Number 20 for Melbourne Storm is Russell Smith. 21 we got Kobe Hetherington who for some reason is missing out on the bench so you know but Kevy's just built different all right. Number 21 for Melbourne Storm is Cole Gio. Gio, I don't know. Reserve number 22 we got Selwyn Cobo who is usually the winger but he's not playing on the wing because they want to make sure he doesn't get into something. Oh, no. Kevy is just built different, okay? Number 22 for Melbourne Storm is Tristan Powell. So all the players for this match, the, the reason I did their lineups is because it's a bit interesting. It Like, both of them, they're not like their normal teams, all right? I'll go back to the ladder and I'll show you what I think. So at the ladder, because if you look at this, all right? <laughs> So if you look at um, Brisbane Broncos and Panthers, as you can see, very much zoomed in, you can see how the best place that Broncos can finish is first if they beat uh, Storm, and they can and the and if they lose and Panthers win, they'll just go to second anyway, you know, because it's, so they're still gonna be top two no matter what, and they're still gonna have a second. What the hell is this? And they're still gonna have a second chance just in case they uh, lose the first match, alright? So there's nothing really to lose at the moment. And with the Storm, looking at their for and against, like their for and against and stuff, I don't know how to read it in this though, but hold up. Because, like, the best place that they can finish would be. Like, the worst place they could finish would be fourth, and the best place they could finish would be third. So they know there's nothing to lose, so if they lose the first week, then they're still going to have a second chance. So they don't really have anything to lose, they'll still be in top four and make it to the finals. So that's exactly why they're not putting in their best players, to my guess. Which, honestly, I think is pretty good. Yes. Totally not because it's my guess. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. And Knights, I think, are locked into the finals at the moment. 33 with 33 points. They can't make a top four. Best they can finish is fifth, and worst they can finish is sixth. Because judging to my calculations on my smartness. The Cowboys will be playing the Mighty Panthers, and if Cowboys lose, then that means that Roosters and Bunnies are definitely gonna have a battle for top eight. Because they both, because they all won. Just like my round 26 preview, right? I thought that they would be 30 points because I'm just a genius, you know. And unfortunately for Para, they have been knocked out because of their buy. If they didn't have the buy, then they might have had a chance. But, you know, that's just how life works sometimes. <laughs> Sharks are really in danger at the moment. Like, they have to, they have to beat the Raiders, alright? And Knights are going to have to win to keep their spot in 5th. But like I said, they can still, they're still in finals. But they might as well try and finish 5th, you know. Cowboys playing the Panthers. If they beat the Panthers, that'll be good for them. And it'll be good for Broncos because the Panthers lose, you know. Uh, Broncos finish 1st, you know. Money Premiership. Manly versus Tigers. Like, all these games, they're just really nothing games, so I'm not really going to talk about them. Because they're all nothing games, so I'm not really going to talk about them. But, like, you know, whatever. Warriors are going to be playing the Dolphins, judging by the way the Dolphins have been playing recently. And how Warriors have been playing. Warriors in 3rd, Dolphins in 14th. I think Warriors have this one in the bag, honestly. So, honestly, I think that is it for my... Round 27 NRL preview. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, because that tells me that you did enjoy it, and I'll be happy. And please subscribe.
I don't know. I, I'm okay. Whatever. You don't have to subscribe. Right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, then I'm sorry for wasting your life. And um, yeah. Okay. Goodbye. See ya.